The De La Salle University Lady Spikers just grabbed the championship title this recent UAAP Season 75. In fact, their recent win made them champion for three consecutive years already. This is without doubt made with the perfect execution of the players that reflected to the whole team. When you talk about team defense, the Libero takes the lead with digs and rolls. In the South situation, the Libero is no other than a proud Chinoy. Melissa Gohim. She is called the Ninja of the Lady Spikers. This proud Chinoy was born on October 22, 1991 in Bacolod City. She's the third among five kids. She attended preschool in Taitung High School and transferred to Hope Christian High School after that. She was into ballet when she was younger and joined the Chinese folk dance troupe and street dance group during her elementary years. She said it wasn't her plan to join volleyball but eventually loved the sport. Well, I started playing volleyball in 6th grade. I was I was got invited by my friend. Pinlit niya lang ako as in so para okay, I'll give it a try because before ballet ako by that time. So I was really hesitant because it's a different Field and hope they they train you to be prepared in college division already because my coach is really good. I mean the training programs and all plus the basic there is um, pwede na talaga pang sabak sa college and also hindi lang kasi personal eh, hindi lang kasi skills yung tutu sa hope and different personality as a player, person, as a player. She continued playing for Hope Christian High School under coach Jerry Yi until she graduated. She began to truly display her potential in high school volleyball as she represented the National Capital Region in the Balarong Pambansa. In, in my high school team, it was my coach talaga. Because he, act, he also acted as our, our dad. Sobrang, when it comes to discipline as a player, Lahat talaga ginagawa niya for the players. She was scouted as one of the rising talents in high school volleyball and landed in La Salle under coach Ramil De Jesus. I, I got it. I was a recruit before, but I really didn't plan. It was faith that led me to La Salle. I have a different plan before. I really didn't want to play. I want to focus on with my other passion like makeup and fashion. So I was gonna go into a fashion school. But it ended up that I'm here right now in volleyball, but I really don't have any regrets. In her five years in La Salle, she won four championships. She recalled that her last championship win in La Salle was the most memorable. Every, every championship game naman is really memorable. I mean, um, every win, alam yung feeling na parang just slow motion lahat. Ganun yung feeling. Kaya talagang, um, di, it's the most memorable moments in my volleyball. Pero as of right now, talaga pinaka memorable was my last game. She excelled in college volleyball, but did not compromise her studies. She landed in the dean's list for one and a half years until she graduated with a bachelor of arts in Philippine studies, major in Filipino in mass media. Um, for me, I balance everything. Parang listing down from one to ten my priorities. Of course, champion academic. Tapos, academic in sports. Pero, um, it's up to you how you manage everything. If you can, well, I learned how to do two things at the same time. Sobrang kailangan mo, natuto ko mag to balance everything talaga. Because our busy schedule, our training schedule, versus our schedule in academic. So, talagang time management. During her volleyball years, she won various awards and recognitions. After her success in the field of college volleyball, she's now taking up master's degree in marketing communications. She also pursued her first love, which is dancing, and enrolled herself in dance lessons. She also wants to pursue and excel in makeup artistry, graphic designing, and styling. For now, um, I do dancing as I'm done with volleyball. But during my season, I do graphic designing for part-time, and also I do makeup because I'm a gay person, so <laughs> so I do makeup. Some, I'm a freelance makeup artist, and sometimes I do styling also. Melissa is not just an athlete and a student. She is also a daughter, a sister, a teammate, and a friend. My family is in Bacolod, but my sister is here in Paranaque, so I go home there every weekend. I go shopping with my sister, I go to church with my family. I am very caring 
I love my sister so much as in whenever we have problems, we share our sentiments always. Um, she's also my advisor if ever I have a problem and whenever she has a problem also, nandiyan siya para sa akin. I communicate to them from time to time, especially if um, there are games um, during season, I always update them and um, they're really supportive even, even though they're really far away from me. I don't know why people always ask, ask advice from me. I'm always there for my friends. I'm just a uh, text or call away. And I'll be there. For the team, I want to be the author of the team. And for my team, I want to be remembered as um, somebody that they can they, that they can go if they have a problem. Some um, an ate for my teammates and for the people naman. Parang I'm the hyper and somebody who doesn't give up right away. Hangout place. Um, anywhere exciting and challenging. I don't like characters, but I, I'm, I have fetish in, on in monkeys. <laughs> Eliza, she was making me during Palo. Michelle, Gumabang. MG. We're both MG. She's big MG, I'm little MG. <laughs> Tian Lim. Leonardo DiCaprio. 28. How many people? Two to three. With all her achievements as a student and a star player, she has this advice to you, Chinoy Barcadas. Um, follow your heart. Parang what you really want. Kasi, um, in my part, in my story, hindi talaga gusto ng parents ko. I mean, um, hindi talaga planado lahat. Parang it just happened. And then, um, you keep on, just enjoy. Then eventually, um, you will, uh, the seed will grow. You just plant the seed and then it will grow. I am Melissa Going, Washer Kuomelian, and I'm a proud Chinoy.